Hey YouTube, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today we are doing a video for you to look at the top five travel guitars with an extra one because we're trying to be sneaky like that for you to take on your summer vacation adventure. Um, so that's what's in my hands here. It is not a guitar for ants. No, this is actually a travel guitar from Yamaha and we've got this and a few others to show you to help you decide if you need a portable guitar that is made for travel. Not something that's just say child size, but really intended for you to take hiking, take camping, take to the beach and whatnot in a small compact uh, design with certain beneficial features for travel. That's the idea, deal, or idea here. So stick around and take a look at what we have to show you today. So the first one that we're going to look at is the Yamaha APX-T2. It stands for the Thin Line, and it's the second version of it. And this is a three-quarter size travel guitar, specifically intended for travel. Like the APX line, it's got these nice curves to it, a really nice look, a cutaway, and a pickup system on it in an all laminate construction. Now what's important here, because it's designed for travel, is it comes with a bag. And so that's very important as we're looking at with a lot of these, the bag's great to have because that in means that as intended, you can kind of throw it on your back like a backpack and go wherever you want. So just uh, under a 23 inch scale. Uh, I love the fact that it has a cutaway. Very few travel guitars do, as you'll see. And it has uh, the ART pickup system from Yamaha with a built-in tuner. So that's handy, you don't have to have your tuner with you. Since it's all laminate construction, it means it's going to stand up to kind of a rough and tumble world that you might encounter when you're off the beaten path backpacking with your guitar. All in all, it's got a great tone. It's not very loud because of the small design and its structure, um, but it's a great playing guitar that gives you a lot of features and comes in a variety of colors. Um, at a price of about $199.99 at the time of this video. So this is a great guitar, so check out what it sounds like. So this next guitar is probably the newest guitar on our list. This is from Fender. It just debuted and this is the CT60S model. Part of the 60 series of classic design acoustic guitars, the T stands for travel. It's really kind of like a small jumbo size shrunk down to a little bit longer than the three quarter size. Now the benefit that this has is that it is a solid top with laminate back and sides. It features scalloped bracing. It retails for uh, right, basically right around $199.99, just like the Yamaha that we looked at. But again, with a solid top and slightly larger design, you get more volume, more output, more tone. And yes, it looks a lot like another very popular travel guitar that's on our list, which I don't think is accidental. That small jumbo design is really ideal for this segment. The downside to this guitar is that it does not come with a bag, which I think is very, very important, but it makes up for that given that it's the same price of the Yamaha at $199.99 and it has the solid top, the scallop bracing, and really a great playing and feeling neck, nut width, and whatnot. So this is a guitar new to the market that should be on your radar if you are wanting a travel guitar for under $300.
Now this guy's been around for a while. It is kind of the beginning uh, travel guitar, the thing that started all of this in a lot of ways. This is the Martin Backpacker, or as I affectionately like to call it, the paddle. Because if you're up a creek, at least you have a paddle. But in all seriousness, this guitar has been around for a while. It's really kind of an ingenious design where Martin's been able to take and trim down to just the bare necessities uh, what you would need in an acoustic guitar. It comes in a steel string or nylon string variety, which is great. Uh, there's pickup systems uh, options on these. And I mean, given that it's got done away with much of the body, this thing is very svelte. Uh, you can definitely throw this on with a backpack in the bag that it comes with um, and play. Now there's no uh, tuner on this particular model and it goes for about $220 so it's just a little bit above the Yamaha and the Fender CT60S that we looked at. But it does feature all solid construction, uh, top and body we'll say with the back and sides. Um, and it, it's really great. Now the only thing I will say with this is that because there's no body you do kind of need a strap in order to be comfortable while playing this. Thankfully Martin has included one with the guitar. So you get the bag and you get the strap and it's ready to go wherever you are. Check it out. Okay, this beautiful parlor size guitar that I'm holding now is a new guitar from Yamaha. This actually represents the CSF family. This is the CSF-1M. But there's a variety of models from solid top with laminate back and sides to all solid construction guitars that are in this lineup. And it is specifically designed for travel. Now, with this particular guitar, you get this beautiful vintage tone top. It is solid spruce with scalloped bracing on it. And in this design, the slightly wider uh, waist here um, and the scale length that they've given it, this guitar just oozes tone. It's got a darker vibe to it um, than you typically find on a lot of travel size guitars, a lot of resonance, and it does come with a fantastic bag uh, for travel. So this is in the top running for me if I'm wanting a guitar to take out uh, into the woods or onto the beach and I want something that's more compact but is going to give me both the feel and the tone that I really desire out of the guitar. And on top of that, it just looks killer with the tone top and the abalone rosette. So this and its, uh, its more expensive cousin with the solid wood model, these are fantastic. You should definitely check them out. Take a listen. Okay, graduating up from the backpacker from Martin, we have the Little Martin. Now, the Little Martin is a familiar shape. It's basically a small three-quarter size dreadnought. It features uh, X, uh, HPL back and sides, which is similar to their X series. That's a high pressure laminate with a printed um, uh, grain. You cannot hurt this stuff. I mean, you could scrape it across it with a key. It's, it's gonna be fine. The top is uh, solid spruce on this particular model. It has a neck that is made of Stratabon and rich light fingerboard and bridge. 
it's very comfortable to play. It is a little neck heavy, but it's with the body, it doesn't feel that way when you're sit, uh, seated uh, playing. Um, and this particular one comes with electronics. Now there's no hole in the side anymore. It's now in the sound hole right here at your fingertips to control the volume and the tone. It comes with a great gig bag from Martin and it has that characteristic Martin tone. So there's more emphasis on the low end of the tonal spectrum with this guitar. The thing I really like about it is in this guitar, it is a traditional neck joint. So it's very solid and it has very stable tuning for a guitar of this size, along with that rich response that you expect out of it. At about $439, we're getting closer to the top of our price range, but it is Martin and it exudes all of that Martin quality we've come to expect. Take a listen. So this guitar really needs no introduction. This is the Taylor GS Mini. More than a guitar, it's actually become an entire line of guitars from Taylor. Uh, it's available in a variety of wood options with and without electronics and now as a base model as well. The GS Mini is the definition of a runaway success, okay? And it comes from a builder that we kind of expect that type of build quality and innovation and success from. So like every other Taylor guitar that they make, the action on it is fantastic. The tone on this GS Mini shrunk down body is great. And a lot of that's owed to the bracing on the solid top. Now, the back and sides are going to be laminate construction or layered construction. This particular one is the model with electronics that has a walnut back and side with a solid Sitka spruce top and scalloped bracing. Now, you can get this without electronics. There's a uh, mahogany top model with mahogany back and sides. There's a Pele back and sides. You can get this with uh, Hawaiian Koa, which is really at the top of the spectrum. Um, and like I said, there's also a GS Mini bass version, which is really cool to play around with that we've reviewed before as well. But what this guitar gives you, in essence, is a guitar that can straddle both sides. It is a fantastic travel guitar. It's a great children's size guitar, sometimes it's, it's the best first acoustic guitar that someone can have. My eldest son, his first guitar was this model right here, a GS Mini with the walnut back and sides and a pickup, and he loves that guitar dearly. So these are fantastic. It can go beyond travel, but when it comes to travel, it's great. It's a little bit larger, but it comes in a fantastic hard bag um, that's going to protect it from just about anything you're going to throw at it fall, short of maybe falling on the guitar yourself. Um, it, it's really great. It plays great. It sounds great. Out of the bunch, it might have the most impressive tone and playability to you know uh, among all of them. That being said, it's also at the top of our price point, right at $600. So. If you're willing to spend that money and you want a guitar that's going to be around for a while and really do more than just be your backpack guitar, then you definitely need to give the GS Mini a look. Take, take a listen to see what I'm talking about. And now for our bonus, we have a guitar without a neck, but don't worry, this thing transforms because I've got the neck right here, the strings already on it. Lock it in place, tighten it down, and you're ready to go. This is the overhead guitar 
from Journey Instruments. This is a really, really cool instrument. Designed by Journey Instruments, based here in Texas. This guitar features a detachable neck with this wedge-shaped body, if you can see that, okay, that gives you a lot of tone out of this small little body. Um, it's got a pickup system in it. It's a very comfortable neck. It's a very solidly built design. And I wanna show you exactly how the mechanism works so you get an idea of why this instrument is so cool. So it is a small travel size guitar. Uh, this is the Powell Ferro uh, version of this guitar. And it's got some great looks to it. Now the uh, apparatus for the neck is, is pretty cool. You have a uh, reinforced neck block with a release button right here that grabs and holds the neck um, in place and, and basically locks it. And then just to ensure that it doesn't come off while you're playing, you have this wheel in the back that helps kind of screw into uh, the block of the neck and reinforce it, holding it against the body. So with that in place, even if I push this, it's not going anywhere. But it's really easy to put together and take apart. So when you're ready, all you do, you don't have to even loosen the strings from their tension. You just unscrew that so that it's now free, give it a little bit of tension from the front, push the, push the button on it, and then just allow it to come forward under the tension of the strings. Make sure you have your hand on it when you do that. It's about 156 pounds of pressure that strings put on the neck of a guitar. And then there you can see the reinforced neck block here for the neck and the, uh, the threaded uh, insert that holds it on there along with the, the lock there. So a very, very cool guitar, um, high quality components, Grover tuners, and when we put it in place and lock it down, it pretty much is almost in tune. You do have to tune it up given the changes in tension and whatnot with the strings, but it's pretty close. The best part about it, given the name that it has, is that it will fit in an overhead compartment on an airplane with no problems. Because the neck detaches, the bag is designed to hold the body and the neck in separate compartments, completely secure, and have space for other things like your laptop computer and you know, your snacks and whatnot, along with headphones and everything. So this could be your one carry-on for the travel that you're going to do. Um, and then it goes right in your overhead compartment and you don't have to worry about it going into being checked, will they allow it on the plane or whatnot. If you travel a lot and you play guitar and you worry about taking your guitar on the plane, you have got to give this guitar a look because it's a fantastic answer to that issue and it sounds good. Now, this is our bonus because it's just over 600 bucks. It's, it's, this particular model is $629. But the overhead guitar represents a line. There are carbon fiber models and different wood combinations available. So definitely check this out on our website and give it a listen right now. Hey, thanks so much for watching the videos we put out on YouTube. We make these with the goal of helping you find the right instrument to suit your needs, to find the perfect fit so that you find the right guitar and bring many years of joy. We believe strongly that if you play a note, it can change your life. But if you're shopping for a guitar right now, you may be overwhelmed by the amount of choices that are available. Should you get an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar, a classical guitar? Which features matter? price points, things like that. It can be overwhelming. And for that reason, I've written a guitar buyer's guide called Don't Get a Good Deal on the Wrong Guitar. Follow the link below to download this very comprehensive guide that will talk about every aspect that you should be paying attention to when it comes to purchasing a new guitar. If you ever have questions or need help, go to our website, alamomusic.com. We're here to help. Thanks. <laughs>